So, hello, my little community and whoever's watching. Um, recently, I've been on a little family trip, and we went to another state in Germany, which is Hessen. And when I went there, you know, whenever I come to a new town, I check out are there any record stores. And fortunately, yeah, fortunately enough, there were two I could visit, so I got some records. Uh, got a little record haul which I want to share with you right now. Uh, the first one I got is John Sebastian. Um, real life, it's a it's a live recording, obviously, and uh, it's U.S. pressing and. I can show you the label right now or the record because um, it's playing right now in the background. It's I really like it. It's just him, the guitar, and it's very folky. But um, yeah, it's it's quite nice. Um, he's telling nice stories and having a good time with the audience. Um, yeah, it has a good vibe. Next one is a live record as well. It's the Edgar Broughton band. Life is harder. Um, it's from 1979 on um, on a Swiss uh, from a Swiss record label, which obviously is just called Records. I'm I'm not sure, and I'm ha happy to get this because like uh, I wanted to start listening to Edgar Broughton band like long time ago, but it's quite difficult to get the records. They are pretty expensive. And, um, but still, I want to listen to them first time on vinyl. So I'm trying to get the records first to listen to. And, um, this is actually the first time I got a record of, saw a record for a decent price. I think it was like three euros. And, uh, I can't wait to give it a spin. So, this is it, Edna Broughton Man. <clears throat> right, the next one is Pink Floyd, the final cut. Um, actually, I'm not that huge fan of the Pink Floyd after the wall, or actually, I'm not that huge fan of the wall as well. Um, but still, I wanted to have it, I want to give it a try, and, um, I actually needed a record, because I want to, I tried to collect, like, the whole cork tree, and this is the last record, uh, or the last album I missed, um, to finish my, like, Roger Waters' Pink Floyd era, so with that record I have, like, all the studio records by Pink Floyd, when Roger Waters was still in the band, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna give it a try, and maybe I enjoy it, but, um, like, as I said, like, my, my preferred era of Pink Floyd is, like, right now, the very early stuff, like Piper the Gates of Dawn, I'm very into Amamagama, and I really enjoy those records, so, but, yeah, I will give it, I will definitely give it a try. Next one is First Santana self-titled album, it's on a, it's on a CBS label, it's from England, from UK, and as you can see on the label, it's like an early pressing, I don't think it's like first pressing, is there some records, uh, there's some advertisement on the sleeves for records that were released after this release, so I'm not 100% sure whether it's first press, but still it's an early pressing, and I can't wait to give it a spin, because especially, like, Brexit, I really love this record, I bought it back then because people recommended it, and I gave it a try, and when I listened to it for the first time, it just blew my mind, so I hope this one will do as well. And uh, maybe fun fact, maybe not everyone of you knows, if you check out the cover, I really love it, because in the painting you see the line, but um, there are also some faces hidden in the in the album cover, like, for example, the eyes, or here you see some heads, or the legs down there. And the thing is, I checked it on the internet, people say, like, there are 12 different faces in it. I only found 8 plus the legs, so maybe you find more and can help me out with this. And the last one I'm also re really excited about is the Electric Prunes. Uh, I had too much to dream last night. Um, also, like Electric Prunes, they kind of have have um, a reputation in the vinyl community, or like yeah, in the music scene in general. They're highly recommended as good psychedelic like rock from the 60s. I never listened to them. Just as I said with Edgar Broughton, I want to listen to some bands for the first time on vinyl. So I wait till I get the record. 
I got this one, it's on a reprise label. Um, unfortunately, it's a repress, but I checked it's not that easy to get like the first pressings here, and then you have to pay like a huge amount. And just for giving it a try, uh, I didn't want to spend that much, so I'm very happy to get the repress. And if I enjoy, I would love to invest like in an early pressing or first pressing, and maybe also like in the other uh, albums of the band. So, Electric Brooms, very excited. And yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed, and see you next time.